Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Today uh, I've got a short little video about uh, sort of a novelty knife. This, yeah, it's not in the world's greatest shape, but this is a Walt Disney Davy Crockett hatchet knife made by Imperial. Now, you can see the handle. Uh, the cover on here says Walt Disney's Davy Crockett and down here I know it's very small writing but it says Fess Parker as Davy Crockett it has the photo and uh, the tomahawk and musket on there now originally this would have come with a bale uh, you can see that is missing on this the back has uh, some damage um, as I say this isn't in the world's greatest shape but it's just a really cool piece of TV history, and so I decided that I should pick it up. Um, the blade, you know, reasonably centered on here. Before we pull that out, uh, let's take a look at the hatchet part of this. So you can see this is also a cap lifter. Designed as a hatchet, uh, it is, my understanding, is carbon steel. If anybody has information about this knife that they want to share, please drop it uh, in a comment below. I'd love to know about it. Uh, it says Imperial Prov for Providence, Rhode Island, USA. Take a look at the back spring. And then you have a little pin blade Right about an inch and a half long. Uh, again, the Tang stamp says Imperial Prov USA. Again, carbon steel, some uh, some corrosion on there. Now, I haven't been able to find out a whole lot about this, but I did come across an Imperial price sheet uh, that gave me a little bit of information. The model number on this was DC2, and it came out in 1957. And so, 63 years ago. The original price on this was $4.50. Uh, and I honestly, I don't think I paid that much more than that for this. I think I may have paid $7.50. You can find these out there in a little better shape. You probably will pay, you know, 10 to maybe $15 if you get one in, in really good shape. Just wanted to share it with you. Thought it was a really interesting piece of history. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did find it interesting, please do subscribe. Thanks so much, and I will catch you next time.